What's up guys? Real quick, I want to um, do a thing like meet the team type deal. For those of you who haven't met Brianna yet, this is Brianna. She's hey like guys. all things Ricky. She writes letters, she does emails, she makes phone calls. Like half the stuff she does is for real estate, the other half is for personal brand coaching stuff. So she's kind of like morphed into this, like been working with us for a while now. Like Basically just like a superhuman. Three months, huh? <laughs> Alright. Three months? No, more than Four? It has almost been six months. Six months. Six months, Ricky. <laughs> See how like time flies when you're having fun? And everybody knows Christy. Yeah. She's like the head honcho, like if you will. She's in charge of you. She is in charge of all things Ricky. Alright. And then we have two agents that came in to just like see what's going on and ask questions and stuff. question from a lovely agent. It's a long email. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Long story short, this person has uh, this person has closed some stuff, had some success, had some transactions fall through like since September, like they closed maybe 10 or something, made 125,000 last year and is ready to quit, but she's not a quitter. Don't know what to do. Um, she's gonna implement my 90 day plan. Problem is she has zero dollars for postcard or to do Red X. Okay, so what I have to say for you, I know you're probably watching, everything is revolved around voice to voice contact with prospects. That's just period. So if you're not having enough closings, it means you're just not talking to enough people. It's really as simple as that. All right, so you missed everything. Like, Brianna's mad at all of us because we've never seen Harry Potter. Christy watched Breaking Bad, nobody's ever seen that. Blake's favorite is Walking Dead. And what's that one? Oh, Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And I never heard of any of it. Not seeing these wonderful movies, but I'm very disappointed in all three of them. And Blake can't believe that none of us have seen Walking Dead. I don't know, man. Or the Game of Thrones. But Game of Thrones is awful. Blue Dog Saints is the best movie in the world, though. Like every single one of the people that work on Team Ricky. Like, they watch TV all day, like they're not doing shit. <laughs> yeah. A good sign of an agent, a losing agent, is, is when they talk about losing deals. That means they're thinking about it. They should have forgotten about the lost deals a long time. As soon as they happen, you should learn your learn whatever happened from it and move on, right? Um, but appreciate the future time you get back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore and be grateful that you actually have the opportunity to do the deal. As far as having zero money to do postcards or Red X or whatever, um, the bottom line is, is that winners just make it happen. So are you a winner or are you not a winner, right? So like with no money, it's literally just voice to voice. So what are we going to do? We're going to go talk to people somewhere. Like if you don't have any money, you're just going to go talk to people anywhere and just try to have 10 to 20 to 30 conversations every single day. Um, you can go to ForSaleByOwner.com. It's free. You go there, there's the phone number. You call it with your cell phone, I'm sure you have. If you're so broke you don't have a cell phone, I'm sure there's a landline at your office or there's somewhere you can call people for free. And you can go to ForSaleByOwner.com and like talk to live prospects. That's what I would do if I had zero money. Blake, please. I only want to be filmed one day and wear stuff that's cute. But the bottom line is, is you're not talking to enough people and you're probably scared 
to talk to people. And so that's the biggest point I want to get across to you is that fear is holding you back from every, all of your like wildest dreams. Helping people to the highest level, that confidence should come out of you that you're here to help. So if they reject you, it's like, well, look, I'm just here to try to, I just want to help you. So if you don't want that, that's fine. I'll go talk to somebody else. So good luck. I hope this helps and reach out with questions. Hit me up. Thank you. So today's my birthday. It was a really good day. Uh, made a bunch of calls. It was a normal day, really. Um, the only thing was it was a little special because everybody was wishing me happy birthday. Hundreds and hundreds of people on social medias and calling me and texting me and emailing me and all that good stuff. Happy birthday. So, but I feel 27, not 37. Um, but today I really got on the phones really hard. I made a bunch of cold calls, totally cold. People didn't know who I am, but I've never talked to them. Um, so it was, a, it was, it was really it felt really good to really get in there and and just have those conversations that need to be had, and just go deeper with those relationships with people who know who I am, but I haven't talked to that own property in the market, that want to do stuff, that don't have agent already that say that I'm their guy and that just felt really good but uh, really concentrating on real estate right now um, really want to take that because I've been concentrating all my creative brain power has been going into coaching and how I can blow up with that which is great because I've done really well with it and you know after doing real estate for 15 years and doing all the stuff I've done I needed to do that but I'm, I'm really flipping it to to really get into real estate right now. I'm really like, my brain is switching over from coaching to real estate and like so many incredible things are happening. I'm fixing to be so, my cup is about to be so full that you guys aren't even, you, wait, just wait till you see what happens next. Yeah.